Hello, this is Minder Chen. I'm Professor of Management Information System at Martin Business School of Business Economics at CSU Channel Island. And in this Data Warehouse and Business Intelligence lecture, I'm going to focus on the discussion of um, the facts table and dimension tables in, in the Data Warehouse. Um, we mentioned in the previous lecture that the standard um, data model for a data warehouse is uh, is based on a star schema sometime um, extension of that is called snowflake schema and um, which consists of facts table and dimension tables um, let's just look at uh, closely uh, what's inside the facts table um, a fact tables um, basically contains um, measures, uh, performance measure, which can be number of units sold and uh, total amount of the sales in, in dollar amount. Um, and the primary key for the facts table are the foreign key for each one of its dimension. So in this simple example, we we have a date dimension, we have a product dimension, and then we have a customer dimension. So if you see a record uh, in in the fact table like this one, it means that on this particular day for a particular product, um, we have sold uh, this many units and the total amount of money is is this dollar amount to a particular customer okay so so it's um, it's the measure by date product and customer together so the facts table it's pretty simple it's basically just all the foreign key pointing to each one of the dimensions linked to the facts table together that forms the primary key plus all the measures uh, that that you that you may have to measure the performance related to maybe the sales or sales process so facts table let's summarize it facts tables have the following characteristic it contain measure which are numerical measures uh, that form the performance metrics you use those measures to create performance metrics uh, to measure the performance of a business process and it can contain uh, aggregated data okay for instance in our previous slide um, the aggregation is based on a daily sales uh, we don't aggregate um, the most detailed data is per transaction but we aggregate it based on daily sales and and the data tends to be uh, date stamped which means uh, the data uh, has a date uh, information associated with it the measure are typically additive additive which means I can add all the unit of um, number of quantity sold uh, across all the uh, product line or uh, to different customer or uh, several days uh, I can add all the units sold from one day to a week uh, that's what we mean by additive um, and this is how the facts table linking to the um, dimension dimension tables um, the the primary key for facts table are a concatenated key which uh, is composed of the primary keys of all the dimension tables and and so that primary key foreign key um, pair uh, form the uh, form the kind of the link between the facts table and all of its uh, dimension tables facts table tends to be narrow which means it has only few columns or attribute but uh, may have many records so for instance if you have 10 store 10 product over 10 days data basically means that you have a thousand record uh, assuming you have you don't 
uh, for each day, each customer, and each product they have purchased something. Uh, in, realistic speaking, you probably would not have a thousand record because certain days some customer may not purchasing certain product. So you may get 200, 300 uh, record in, in that simple example. So let's look at the an example of a grocery store's um, data warehouse um, kind of star schema in, in our design. At the center of the star schema is the sales uh, facts, fact table. And we have four dimension here. Uh, the time dimension, which is based on date. Uh, although there's a time key, which is the primary key. And uh, there's a product dimension. We have we use product key to kind of uh, uniquely identify it. There's a promotion dimension and the store dimension. Okay. And just use stores example. We have a lot of attribute that we store related to the store. Uh, some of them will be potentially the so-called um, performance driver. And you can see that all the dimension table has a one to many relationship uh, linking to these uh, to the sales fact table. I have four foreign key, and together the sales uh, facts table's primary key is this four foreign key combined or concatenated together. Uh, there are four additional attributes. They are the so-called measures dollar sales, unit sales, dollar cost, and customer count. Okay, so um, I will later do a demo of this grocery store's um, data warehouse uh, so you can have a better understanding of it. And the dimension table um, help us to analyze the facts table um, and and when you try to create a dimensional model, the first step is to to identify your facts table, um, and then you identify the dimension table. Um, for the facts table, um, we, we need to translate the business measure into the facts table. Um, we need to analyze the information from the source, uh, from the data source, the source systems for additional possible measures used for performance measure. We need to identify base or derive measures. And we also need to document to see whether those measures are uh, additive. Um, a measure can be non-additive, like price, unit price. We don't add the price up. Uh, Semi-additive, uh, which means like quantity on hand, which can may be additive for certain dimension, but not all the dimension. Okay, and for instance, you can certainly add uh, quantity on hand across multiple products, but adding quantity on hand over date dimension may not make a lot of sense. Uh, dimension can be certainly additive, which is um, will be very powerful, uh, such as the quantity sold uh, in the facts table. Once we have that, we need to identify those dimensions and then linking the di facts table uh, to the dimension table through that foreign key primary key pairs. And, and eventually we can start manipulate this dimensional model um, to create various view for our user. And in this example, we're going to see um, kind of a similar star schema, uh, which we have uh, order detail facts uh, at the center, which is the facts table. And we have uh, quite a bit of dimension. Uh, one thing I, I like this diagram is that it uh, kind of associates the dimension to, um, to, to phi, w, and 1h. Uh, for instance, employee is the who dimension. Um, the outlay that product has been sold is the where dimension. The product itself is the what dimension. And the customer is the who dimension. And then how uh, the way we delivered uh, the product to the customer is the how dimension. Okay. And then by the way, the date is uh, 
a common dimension across all the data warehouse star schema is the when dimension. And then we can have attribute like order quantity, extended price, and discount amount. Those are the measure. So all those um, dimensional tables primary key has been concatenated together to serve as, um, as a primary key for this facts table. Order numbered uh, is also used in this case to as a as a part of the primary key. And however, order itself, uh, the data has been spread around, uh, distributed to to the to the dates, to the um, to the customers table. So by itself, it um, does not have any attribute other than the order ID. So here we call it degenerated dimension. So in a dimension table, um, we need to give it a key. And usually we use a surrogate key, which is um, in excess, I think we call it auto number, which is just a, a sequential integer number uh, they will assign to uniquely identify a day, a product, etc., which make it make the system more efficient. And the table is Y, which means I have a lot of attributes, which are the driver uh, under this dimension to potentially affect uh, the performance of a system. And then um, the attribute tends to be texture um, and their descriptive attribute, which are characters and usually um, there's no numerical value and we don't use it for any calculation, even if it, it's a number. And some of the attributes uh, may not be uh, related to each other. For instance, product color and product package size um, may not have any uh, uh, direct kind of relationship. Uh, so therefore, there's no transitive uh, dependency. And the dimension table, uh, if it's in the star schema, we don't normalize. In the snowflake schema, we may uh, perform some kind of normalization. And we can actually uh, perform drill down or rolling up operation along a single dimension through uh, something we call it uh, hierarchy. Okay. And we, we are going to explain what uh, hierarchy is in, in greater detail. Uh, so we do use hierarchy within the dimension for, to perform the so-called drill down or roll up operation. I'll just give you a quick example of hierarchy. For instance, in terms of date dimension, we have year, uh, quarter, and month, and, and the date. Okay, so that forms a hierarchy from year to quarter to month to day. Okay, that's a hierarchy. So we can have annual sales, we can have quarterly sales, monthly sales, and the daily sales uh, from the higher up in the hierarchy to a very detailed level in the hierarchy. And most of the dimensional table has fewer records. Like if you have 20 stores, then you have 20 records for the store dimension. Okay, this um, explained um, in great detail about uh, fact tables and dimension table. We'll come back and, and discuss how we can um, kind of operate the data we have in the data warehouse in terms of try to try to present it and try to view it. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.